Well, this is all out politics and some more uh, Rohingya crisis related news. So, Bob Geldof is handing back his freedom of the city of Dublin in protest against the Myanmar leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, who also holds the honour. Thanks, thanks, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Maddox, good morning to you. Good morning to you, too. <laughs> See you there, the boss. How are you doing? Good, man. The best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell us why you're here today, please, boss? Sorry? Can you tell us why you're here today? Just, just, just give him a bit of space. Um, I'm here to hand back the honour of the freedom of the city of Dublin, uh, which I don't want to do because it means a lot to me. But it's, uh, yeah, I don't want to be grandstanding either, but it's a sort of small personal gesture uh, because Aung San Suu Kyi was extravagantly welcomed uh, to this city and I participated in that. I sang to her and spoke of her and raised her up on our hosannas and it turned out that she's a killer. And I don't want to be on the same list as, uh, as what the UN described as a genocidalist. I really don't. So, as I say, it's personal. It's, uh, I'd love them to take, remove her from the scroll. The problem for the council is that there's no constitutional way as yet of doing that. Uh, but, you know, uh, Mannix will explain that to you. There's no, they, there's no way of actually receiving back a freedom either. So these things are there. But, you know, as I said, give Mannix and me a, a felt tip pen and we can just do it, just take her off. She, she doesn't deserve to be honoured by Ireland or the city. Bob, there was a bit of criticism from you today by the Lord Mayor, who said that you have an order of the British Empire, mm. uh, and you mentioned their human rights record and said it wasn't exactly sterling. How would you respond to that? Well, you know, Sinn Féin have always been apologists for mayhem and murder, and, you know, uh, you know it's a complete non-sequitur. You know, I'm here to talk about genocide and mass murder and rape and the abuse of children and uh, a democratically elected uh, leader who's in truck with uh, brutes and this sort of political nicety in the face of brutal oppression has never that sort of sophistry has never meant much to me. Is it a PR stunt some people might argue? Yes it is a PR stunt to try and uh, dissociate this city from a murder. And uh, what's going to happen right now? The, the, it, like, you know, I don't want to give this up, so it's a appeal, but I don't want to. I'm, I'm really proud of it, you know, and, uh, you know, I get handed things by states and cities around the world, but I'm a dub, and this meant very much to me. And so, as I say, it doesn't mean much to anybody else, but to me, I don't want to do it, but it's the most I can do, and the least. Well, Bob Geldof there, and